Let us understand how do we apply Vita's formula to work with the roots of quartic equation. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have an example where Vita's formula will be applied. Example 3 in our list is let P, Q, R and S be the solutions of the following equation. Quartic equation is given to you, degree 4 polynomial, 2x to the power of 4 minus x cube plus 2x square minus 4x minus 24 equals to 0. Find the sum of roots P, Q, R and S. Find the product of roots P, Q, R and S. Find the Symmetric sum PQ plus QR plus RS plus SP and find 1 over P plus 1 over Q plus 1 over R plus 1 over S where PQ, RS are four roots of the given equation. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let me remind you of what Vita's formula is. So, for any given polynomial of degree n, we can actually find the symmetric sum of the roots. Sum of all the roots are minus of a n minus 1 over a n, where a n is a leading coefficient and a n minus 1 is next to it, right? So, that is how you get sum of the roots. But sum of product of two roots, like r1 plus r2, r2 plus r3, will be next coefficient divided by the leading coefficient and like this product of the root will be constant over the leading coefficient and this sign will be minus for odd degree and plus for even degree. Right? So you can use this formula and then find the solution of the given question. So coming back to this I think it's simple application of Vita's formula. So now Let's try to do it. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. So once again, the sum of roots P plus Q plus R will be what? Plus S will be equal to negative of leading coefficient of X cube divided by the leading coefficient, right? So, the coefficient of x cubed divided by the leading coefficient 2. So, in this particular case, the coefficient of x cubed is minus 1. And when you divide this by 2, you get your answer. Correct? So, that becomes your answer, which is how you get the idea. So, that is how you can find some of these roots, simple as that. So, that is your part A. And now, let us do part B which is product of roots. Product of roots, we have to, we have this as a degree 4. So, it will be positive of ratio of this coefficient, which is constant, right? In this case, it is minus 24 divided by the leading coefficient, which is 2. And that gives us minus 12. Do you see that? How easily we have figured it out. So, for part B, what we are trying to do here is that we take this constant, right, divided by the leading coefficient. That is how you do the product of roots. Absolutely clear, right? Now, let us take up the second part, part C, which is the product of PQ plus QR plus RS plus SP, right? So, we are multiplying systematically two roots, right? So, for part C, the product PQ 
plus QR plus RS plus SP will be equal to the ratio of H2 will be the ratio of the next coefficient over the leading coefficient, right? In this case, it is equal to 2 over 2. The, the signs also change, right? So, this is negative, this is positive, so it alternates. So, we are now looking into, so first one was negative, this is now positive, then negative, positive. Do you see the signs which are there in the ratio, correct? So, we get our answer, which is equal to 2 by 2, which is 1. Clear? Now, let's do part D, where we are taking up the ratio of these, right? So, I hope by now you have understood the concept. Let's try to see what is part D. In D, what we have is that we have to find what is 1 over P plus 1 over Q plus 1 over R, reciprocal sum, right? So, you can always take common denominator, which is the product PQRS. And then you get what? You get the symmetric sum, right? QRS plus, here we get PRS plus, here we get PQS plus PQR. Correct. So that is the third symmetric sum, right? So we are now focusing on, so when it was individual, then two and then three. So we are focusing on this. And the sign should be what? Well, this was negative, this was positive, this is negative, correct? So, so we have on the top the symmetric sum of this. So, we could write this as equal to, let me now do it in two lines, minus of minus 4 divided by 2. So, that is a numerator, right? And the denominator is the product of all of them, which we figured out was minus 24 over 2, right? Or we calculated that to minus 12, right? So, that becomes your answer, correct? So, in the numerator, we have uh, minus minus becomes plus 2 and in denominator, we have minus 12. So, that gives you minus 1 over 6 as your answer. You get the idea. So, with that, we have found how the roots are related using Vita's formula. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. It is very easy to apply. So, the whole idea of taking these examples was to make you understand that's not a difficult formula to use, very simple and very effective in solving some difficult questions. So, I hope with this you have understood the complete concept. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.